There's one thing I forgot we should have made. I want us to fix that right now. If you take a look down here, you can see we have a cutout over here. I may have forgotten to do it. So let's just go into edit mode. And uh, let's take this edge loop here. This one right here. We're going to slide it back to about here. Okay, so it's it's the thickness is about between this and this down there. So it's pretty close like that. So with that done, what I'm going to do is, uh, let me see. Maybe if I take this one, we're going to knife it. Okay, so let me just knife it from here to here, and I'm going to knife it to this one, and then to that one. I'm going to knife it straight down, like that. And then I'll go into wireframe. I'm going to take all of this and dissolve the edges. So let's take a look. Alright, so that is looking great. So, um, what we're going to do now, I don't think that's where we actually wanted this to be. You know, let's undo that. Let's, let's undo that and let's make it a straight cut instead. So let's cut it from here all the way down, straight line, like that. I want to take all of this and dissolve it. So yeah, that is good. So with that done, we're going to move down here and let me see, where do we want this to reach? See so right around here. So I want to take this one and let me slide it up. Let me just, let me just bevel it. Okay, so I'm just going to put in two, or let's dissolve this and add in two, like this. And let me just press alternate so it's sitting right on top of the shrink wrap. I like that. Alright, so with that, I think we should end it over here on this one. I don't know if that is good enough. Is it too steep? Okay, yeah, so I think we can end it on that one. So let's end it on that one and we'll take all of these over here. I'm going to solid view. All of these. So click on our vertex, move over here, hold down control and shift and select all of that. So press X and delete the vertices, like that. So you can see what I'm practically doing right now. So I'll just move down here. And I'm going to move things around here to kind of get the shape that we need right here. Because you can see it kind of gets staying as it reaches the down there. So that's what we're going to do right now. So I'm just going to move things around just to kind of create that, that shape for us. So just move things around on your side to make things look like that so yeah that is exactly what I wanted it's looking great so with that done um, I think to shrink wrap yeah let's let's copy and apply one of it like that so with that done I'm gonna move down here I'm gonna take all of this and let's just extrude this in the y axis a little bit like that and get into wireframe so a little bit like that we're gonna do it again a little bit and I'm gonna extrude it in the y axis I'm going to extrude in the y-axis even more. So with, with that, we're going to press Ctrl and plus until we select it to the very one at the end there. And we're going to remove this from the group. So remove. So here's one here's one more thing we want to do. Let's hide this one. Let's press Ctrl and R2 here. Press E to leave it right about here. And let's leave one right about here as well. So press Alt and H. Take this to press Alt and M and choose at center. Let's move things around. So things are pretty consistent and equal on all sides like that so yeah that is good so we're gonna copy hold up let me just move this around just a little bit more so we're gonna copy and apply the shrink wrap modifier again so copy and apply so that should move things onto the surface nicely for us like that so yeah so we're gonna take this and we're gonna assign this to the group so let's assign it like that so everything is looking great I'm gonna put one more in the middle here and there uh, we go so let me just assign this one as well. I think I assigned it fully. Yeah. So let's assign it fully. And that was what I was looking to achieve. So you can see we have that beautiful gap down there. Looking good and everything. Alright. So that's pretty much what I wanted to do. I will see you guys in the next video. Let me just save this real quick.